Hi guys, Vern, Jack of all trades, master of none. Today I'm going to show you how to clean out the sludge water from your steam boiler. Okay, so this will help you homeowners uh, maintain your boiler. Very important, every week or every other week. Alright, let's get into the video. Here we go. This is a steam boiler and there's a gauge. There's a gauge on every steam boiler that I know of. Um, this is I call the sight gauge. If you check your boiler, you should have a gauge here. And your water should have a certain level that it has to be. In this case, here's the water mark here, water level. So the water level should reach that mark or be a little higher. That's not a problem. But if it's too high, that's not good because the water can come out. Your steams are not made to hold water. So you steam. don't want to be too high with your water so, gauge. With that said, the boiler is off. And we're going to we're gonna quickly do a flush. And although your water looks clear in there, which is good, it's it's probably not because you know your boiler's been running. So let's open up our drain valve. You can find your drain valve should have a handle like this somewhere where you can let the water out with something that looks like a hose spigot right here. Okay, and so we'll put a bucket under there. We'll open that up. And look at what's coming out. Dark colored water. As I told you, the water's not clean. And this actually can damage your boiler. You have to monitor this water. You can't just leave your, your boiler running. And you know, you, you got people that come out and do this for you, but it's really a simple, pretty simple thing to do yourself. You can see my water starting to run clear. But one time is not enough. You, you have all this grudge at the bottom of your boiler, and it only builds up. So we need to rinse this out. And um, and just kind of rinse and repeat, okay? And open that up again. You actually want to run it to a run clear. I'm looking pretty clear, um, but you know, again, come back down in another week of your boiler running, and then do this process again. Okay, I'm going to tell you. What can happen if you don't do this? You remember that gauge I was telling you about, that water gauge? Well, it can get clogged. It can get clogged on the bottom here, on the inside, and or on the top here, on the inside. Yeah, the or the top up here, on the inside. And what'll happen is it, it can actually, it can actually prevent water from flowing into this gauge and that's not a good thing. So we want to avoid that. Um, it can give you a false reading of what's going on with your boiler, whether or not you got water in the tank, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and there's times where you may end up having to call someone to come and clean this out because you don't see any water in this gauge because it's not passing through because the sludge is so thick. And you can lose your boiler actually. Um, there's a way you can lose your boiler by getting false readings. Um, especially if you don't have an automatic feeder, which this bowl has an automatic feeder here uh, that monitors water. You may or may not have an automatic feeder connected to your boiler. But um, if you don't, just remember you have to replenish the water that you take out of the boiler. So just take your time, don't do it too fast because that water may be cold water that you're putting back into your boiler and you don't want to crack your boiler. And observe that sight gauge because you don't want to overfill. So very important things to keep in mind. And um, that's it for the video. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the video if you learned anything. And please, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
Thank you. See you on the next one. Thank you.